Ready? Two, one. This week on the GameTaffy.com news show, Microsoft wants to get into your head, Sackboy wants to get into a cart, and Theater Rhythm Final Fantasy wants in the U.S. The GameTaffy.com news show starts in knock knock. Who's there? Now! <laughs> GameTaffy.com news show brought to you by Weber State News and GameTaffy.com. I'm Bella Marks and I'm a gameaholic. You could be my sponsor and have your brand right here. Email GameTaffy at GameTaffy.com for more information. First in the news, Microsoft wants to rock your world with some virtual reality. Microsoft filed a number of patents for a head-mounted virtual display for gamers with a helmet model for at-home play and a lighter glasses-like model for mobile use. What sets this device apart from, say, a virtual boy is the translucent screens. Microsoft's device will project items onto surfaces for an augmented reality experience. If this device makes an appearance at this year's E3, Microsoft will have a press conference actually worth checking out. Little Big Planet showed gamers how to build their own levels and games. Then, Mod Nation Racers took the formula and applied it to kart racing. Now it's official. The creators of Mod Nation Racers, United Front Gaming, will make Little Big Planet Karting a kart racer starring the Sackboy. Think about that for a minute. I know, mind blowing. For Final Fantasy's 25th anniversary, don't expect Square Enix to release some repainted classic game you've played 7,000 times. No, Final Fantasy celebrated its 25th birthday with Theater Rhythm, Final Fantasy, a rhythm-based game with over 70 classic songs and 25 years of memories. More exciting than that, though, it will come to the U.S. this summer for your Nintendo 3DS. Yay! The trailer of the week features 10 seconds of our favorite trailer from the week. If you can guess the game, you could win this dazzling set of Chain Chomp earrings. If you're a guy, you can give them to your chicky do, or we can give you a gift card, whatever you want. You must be 18 years old to enter and you have to give us your parents' permission if you're not over the age of 18. You have to be a subscriber to YouTube, you have to like me on Facebook, you have to follow me on Twitter, you have to give me a foot massage, you have to brush my hair. Anyway, email your guesses to GameTaffy at GameTaffy.com. Don't look now, but it's time for upcoming games. On Tuesday, April 3rd, Blacklight Retribution will be free to play on the PC. Connect Star Wars will have you waving your arms like an idiot on the Xbox 360's Connect. Heroes of Ruin makes your Nintendo 3DS social, and Devil May Cry HD Collection reminds your 360 and PS3 why Dante kicks so much ass. Finally, Assassin's Creed 3 will have not one, but two deluxe editions at launch in October. The Freedom Edition will include the game, a 9.5 inch figurine of Connor, steelbook case art by Alex Ross, George Washington's notebook revealing the Assassins and Templars of the Revolution, an exclusive lithograph, two single-player missions, and a multiplayer pack. The Humbler Join or Die edition includes the game, an assassin medallion, George Washington's notebook, one of the single-player missions, and the multiplayer pack. Or you could just buy the game with none of these extras for $60. Right now, these announcements only apply to European retailers, but this should give you an idea of what Ubisoft is planning when they make an announcement for North American retail. And that's it! Become a fan of Game Taffy on Facebook or hear more of my voice on the GameTaffy.com show, a free podcast available on iTunes or streaming from the GameTaffy.com show. News. Paper. I'm Bella Marks and I just noticed that your hair kind of makes you look like a squid. That's odd. <laughs> <laughs>